cataractcoach.com quiz. Why is the posterior capsule wrinkled? You see those three linear marks in the center. Let's show you a few highlights. Here's the incision being made. Looks like it has a good construction and tunnel length. And then the capsular axis goes very well. And in fact, the nucleus removal and cortex removal all goes uneventfully. So now at the end of the case, we have the IOL and the capsular bag. The capsular axis is nicely overlapping the optic. We've removed all the viscoelastic and everything looks totally normal. So let's seal up the incision here using the balanced salt solution, do a little hydration of the incision. Looks pretty good. And we don't see any wrinkles yet. Let's sweep the anterior chamber, make sure there's no retained viscoelastic. Oh, there's a little bit. We'll get that out. Position the IOL optic. Looks good. Let's seal the incision. And let's get the IOP up. And there's a little bit more viscoelastic. A little nuclear chip, we'll get that one out. So that goes routinely underneath the optic, just making sure we get rid of any little res residual lens fibers. All right. All looks pretty good so far. Completely normal case. I don't notice any issues. Do you? No. So let's remove viscoelastic, make sure to get every bit out of it, the eye. And now let's seal the incision again. So more bounce salt solution, center up the lens. I like that overlap, a good sweep of the angle, no retained viscoelastic. All right, now we're done. Let's get the pressure up. And there's the first wrinkle, right in the center of the capsule. Hmm. Put a little more BSS in the eye, looks okay. Oh, the wrinkle comes back. Now let's try check the incision here. More BSS going in. Now there's three wrinkles on the poster capsule. And look at the sponge, look at the Wexel sponge, how it, the eye pressure's low and the little Wexel sponge enlarges as it absorbs the leaking BSS. This incision's leaking. The reason why you see those wrinkles in the capsule is the anterior chamber slowly collapses. Watch the sponge. See how the sponge expands? That means there's a little leak at the incision. And that little tiny leak is going to cause the anterior chamber to collapse and you'll see the wrinkles in the capsule. So this is the trick I taught you before of using a Wexel sponge soaked in tetracaine to cause osmosis focally and that'll help seal the incision. Now let's check again. Now it's looking a lot better. A little bit more. Again, the hypotonic nature of the tetracaine causes water to go into the cornea and causes focal swelling, which helps to seal the incision. Now, ultimately, if it doesn't seal this way, what should you do? Put a stitch in the eye. Put a 10 nylon suture. Suture the main incision shut. And now let's look. It looks pretty good. Checking with the sponge. Now it looks pretty dry. And let's make sure the IOP is back to normal. And then we can finish the case here. So important lesson learned. When you see these wrinkles in the poster capsule at the end of the case, that's often due to hypotony. And we saw that we checked the anterior chamber. It was shallow. The pressure was low. So we'll take our time to make sure we get an absolutely watertight incision. That's really an important issue in cataract surgery.